All right, so here you go. This is my very, very first computer build. Uh, hopefully, you know, all the information I was giving you there kind of helps you out in terms of your music production setup. I'm extremely, extremely excited for this. And like, yeah, again, like I'm saying, it's my first uh, computer build, so. <laughs> so these are some standoffs. I believe that these are for the SSD, the M.2 SSD. So a lot of this stuff is pretty much plug and play nowadays. Probably the most important thing when you're building a computer is to make sure that you install this I.O. plate. So I'm just gonna pop that in. Clicks in pretty easy. Something that uh, Asus has been coming out with, it's like this uh, CPU installer. So you actually put your CPU in here first and then you install it in the socket of the motherboard. Plastic coating. I believe you can install it without it, but this is just made because I think a lot of like the RMA stuff So like when you have to return a product is because you can bend the pins in your motherboard or whatever So this is the chip and again, this doesn't come with uh, a cooler. That's why I had to buy this be quiet one Okay, so how you know where to install your CPU again Like I only know this just because like I was reading there's like this triangle right here There's the triangle right there. So again, that's where I put the triangle of this What I'm gonna do is you push down and then out and uh, this comes up, and now you're able to see your like your socket for uh, for your CPU, which is so crazy. Okay, so they give you these edges that you can put your your finger and thumb in. So I have it in there. Now I'm gonna drop it in, and then from here, you know, I'll just do a little wiggle, make sure it's in there. Now when you put this down, this will just pop off for you. Make sure it's underneath the screw, and then what you do is you're gonna push down, and it has pressure, and then as you can see, that just popped off, which is good, and then. You just kind of swing it over and under. So now my CPU is installed, which is, oh man, that's like the most intense uh, part of it, right? Because uh, yeah, a big, a big problem is when the, the pins are bent. I'm going to start working on this RAM here now. It's really, really important to read the manual and stuff because they recommended uh, in the manual to install these on A2 and B2. So I'll show you. So on this motherboard, as you can see, it has like dim A1, A2, uh, dim B1, dim B2. They actually suggested to plug it into dim A2 and B2. So I'll show you that in the in the manual, just so that you can kind of see. What it's saying here is this is the recommended memory configuration. So what it's saying is if you only have one stick of RAM, then you would put it in dim A2. But if you have two sticks of RAM, then put it into dim A2 and then dim B2. And if you have all four, then just take advantage of all four slots. And then how RAM works is there's just like a little slot right here. And then the same thing right here on like the actual RAM, uh, you can see like there's a slot. So I'm just gonna open these up. Um, sometimes, you know, it might have both, but this one I believe only has one. And so I'm just gonna put it in, just kind of push down. And when you do that, when you push, this should lock in for you, okay? So as you can hear, it clicked both. So that's my RAM installed. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna install is my SSD. So there's two spots where you can plug this in here on this motherboard. There's one right here, as well as one right down here too. Okay, so let's open this up. Very, very excited to, to, to see the speed of these new uh, NVMe uh, SSDs. Okay, so again in the manual, so it says that I have to put this little stand off in because as you install the uh, M.2 SSD, it kind of goes on an angle and then you actually push it down. It's almost like a diving board kind of thing. It kind of has spring to it. In the motherboard packaging, it has these standoffs, which are right here, okay? And then, you know, you have your screw afterwards. Okay, so I'm plugging in right here and it's going out. And as you can see, there's these two screws. So I'm not sure which, which, is, which is which. And I can see that it's this one, this far one that I have to uh, screw this into. And as you can see, like this is super weird, but it's like a diving board. What came with my case, uh, the Define R5, is this, this little box, just a bunch of screws and stuff. And these are gonna be like the motherboard screws and stuff like that. You know, looking at all those screws, I'm just like, uh-oh, like what am I doing here? A good way to tell is like, you know, if it has lots of screws, you just kind of compare like, this is probably 32 screws in here. In case of like the motherboard, the motherboard screws, uh, it says there's only eight of them. I think there's like only eight in here. Now on the motherboard, you also have to put these standoffs in. And then I was looking at this white thing and it says a standoff tool. Okay, you put one of these into this, into here and it makes it easier to screw it in. The only thing at the moment I don't know is like where to screw them in. As you can see, like there's there's like these holes right here. So I have like where, where my thumb is. And I can't really get it to show up on the camera, but like it shows like M here and then A and then like AM and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna look through the instructions to see uh, where I have to put in these standoffs for the motherboard again. So I, don't, so I only do it once. And um, the reason for that is because I think there's like different form factors. You could fit, you know, like, um, 
you know, smaller motherboards and smaller cases and stuff like that. So that's just another thing you have to look out for when you're buying your parts, um, especially the motherboard and the case, I believe. It's like ATX. It shows like the AM there, right? So again, you guys can't really see it on this motherboard here, but um, where like these holes are and stuff, it, it's showing AM. And then there's also another one for M. And I was like, okay, well, I'm probably just gonna go with the AM, but I just wanted to confirm. After I was done, I went through with like the little white standoff tool. I put it on here, you know, and then I used a screwdriver because it has a little screwdriver, um, you know, indent there. And then it just tightened down just a little bit, you know, just, just kind of a little extra snug just because that is where the motherboard is gonna be mounting to. Okay, so now what I have to do is I have to slide this in here, which has to go uh, with that IO panel, which we installed earlier. So once you get your ports in, you know, you make sure they're all lined up, which, which they are, they're looking good. This even has uh, the type C USB, which is really cool. Um, I don't know when I'll actually be able to use it. Before I put the motherboard in, there was already a, an existing standoff and it had a little nubby on it. And I was just like, should I be removing that? Or like, what is it? But I can see that it's this right here. And I guess that's probably just kind of maybe stabilizing it, you know, so it can't move around or whatever. Another cool thing is like, you know, like I'm saying, I don't really work with computers, like building them tons. Um, I'm actually an electrician and like a lot of like the, the stuff that we get as electricians to install is so cheap. And a lot of times things don't line up. But it's just so nice to see like all these screw holes, like they lined up, they actually lined up like perfectly. Like everything was just like precision. It was just so nice. Okay, so now in terms of mounting my power supply like, up or down, like um, I don't know, I've read online, like it's just like it's some of its personal preference and it's it's kind of interesting because like a lot of these power supplies, like they don't even really turn on until like they really need it, which is awesome for, for silence. Um I think I probably will mount this down though. Um and also this is pretty cool in this case. You have these like little like dampeners, you know, they're kind of like rubber. So again, just preventing noise, which is awesome. And then there's screws, which uh, I'll have to screw in just to kind of secure uh, the power supply to the case. I was just quickly looking through um, the power supply mod uh, manual, just saying like to connect like the motherboard and the CPU connector. It's the awesome thing with like power supplies nowadays. It's all module. So uh, as you can see, this one's like CPU one. Uh, this one's for like the motherboard MB. Down here you have like your SATA connectors which would plug into like your drive bay right here. So I'm working with the motherboard one here first. So a big thing I found is you first want to find out which end goes where. So like this CPU one actually goes into the power supply. Okay, so those are plugged in. Now I'm going to install my heat sink. These here are what put like the fan onto the actual heat sink. These screws right here which go in through here. And then uh, you have to make sure you use these little O-rings. This little thing, as, as it says in the instructions, warning, please use the Intel LG A775 backplate cap, which is this thing. In my case, I have uh, the 1151, which uh, if you go into the other instructions, you know, so this is what I was saying about like, the socket sizes before. So, you know, there's like the 2011, there's the LGA 775. And then as you can see, I'm on the 1151, which is what my processor was, right? LGA 1151. So I'm thinking I want my heat sink to be like this and not like this. Um, so in order to do that, I'm gonna be having to mount these brackets uh, this way, because as you can see right here, What's gonna happen later is that we have this piece and I believe that this goes across. Looks really, really cool. And then here, yeah, here's the thermal compound. All right, it is on. That was so hard to get on. Okay, so now I'm just gonna install this fan onto uh, the heat sink here. So one thing to keep in mind is like where it actually plugs in. So for example, if you, if you install it this way, it's like, you know, are you gonna have a super long cord? Or if I plug it in this way, it's like, is your cord even gonna reach? And then uh, from what I was reading online, uh, where the bracket is, that's the way the, the air goes. So in this case, I'm gonna put it on this side and that means that the air is gonna flow through and it's gonna cool uh, the heat sink. And then uh, to mount this bracket, I had to look this up because I didn't know I didn't get it. You clip this on here and here, and then it goes over top on your seat, on your heat sink and you just pull, like actually you have to pull pretty hard and then, it, and then it'll go in. Okay, so that's one side of it. I'm just gonna hook onto the bottom now. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie a little knot in this and then I'm just going to plug this right into this little white connector. They call these chassis fans. So up here we see how we have a four pin chassis fan one and two. So this is number three. So the front case I'm going to put on this one and then the back case I'll put on this one. I'm not just going to just drag it like this. I snuck it in behind one of these grommets and then I pulled it through the other grommet. Okay, so now moving on to this little Q connector I think is what they call it. And that's where you start connecting all these little wires. Uh, again, which is like 
the front, uh, like the LED start button and that kind of stuff. I installed my graphics card here. I went with more fans just for a quieter video card. And then this is like what like the back of it looks like. DVI connection, uh, HDMI, and then DisplayPort, I guess. And this actually mounts this way. So what I did was I actually put this here just as a template and then I knew which back plate to remove. I have to actually take two of them off. And you also just wanna make sure that the latch is open. And then uh, they have a little uh, protector on the actual connection too. Now I just gotta push it in. There, I pushed in and that latch down. Now I'm just gonna put these screws back into these holes right here. Okay, so for my next step, I'm just gonna be installing an old SSD I had from like a previous computer. And then uh, I'm also gonna be installing this two terabyte mechanical hard drive, again, just because it's so affordable. This is gonna be more of like a backup drive where I store uh, a lot of like my Dropbox files on, and then this will be in sync with Dropbox. Therefore, if I um, go on like my laptop or whatever, everything's still in sync across my computers. However, I'm still able to back this up on, a, on like a real backup while still having everything backed up in the cloud and everything too. And then with this case, uh, I'm gonna be taking out uh, these two screws here so I can actually remove this, which is gonna be cool. And then uh, what Fractal Design has provided is in here, uh, they provided like these like rubber grommets. So you actually kind of stick these in and then over. It helps with like the vibration and stuff like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull this right out. And then now that fan will get a little better uh, airflow. Okay, so I think I have everything plugged in. I have a monitor set up. I just got to plug in a uh, mouse. Check this out. It's a ball of mouse. <laughs> I've been using this lately. It's, it's been great. That will just allow me to access like the, the BIOS. I also have a USB drive uh, to install Windows off of. I uh, kind of prepared ahead of time um, because I already, I already have like a license for Windows and stuff like that. Um, I just have to install it off the USB drive. And then yeah, like I was saying, um, once I get in, I'm going to be installing um, all of the drivers for like uh, the graphics card, the motherboard, and you just go to like the websites and uh, you just go to like, usually it's in like support or like drivers or downloads or something like that. And that will allow you just to get the most performance out of your system. Now is the time to turn it on. So this is the, the moment of truth. Okay, so power cord is in. I have turned it on. Awesome, I'm starting to see lights back there. Those uh, RGB lights. Again, this is like the first time I've ever built a computer, so. I'm hoping we're all good. Okay, things are spinning. See the fans? Uh, I'm just gonna turn on the monitor. Hopefully that's all it is. So this is extremely quiet. And then again, I have like uh, the sound dampening case. Okay, nice. It has like my motherboard and it has uh, my processor and then new CPU installed. Please intercept and configure your system. So press F1 to run setup. Now I'm just gonna plug in my USB stick again just to install Windows. And I'm just gonna save and exit. All right, so there's my new computer build. You know, I was super, super thankful that as soon as I hit on that the power button, it worked first try. And also another thing I wanna say is uh, in terms of like keeping all like my stuff, I usually keep uh, like the motherboard case and I'll also keep um, Usually it would be like the video card case, but this video card wasn't a super high end one, so it wasn't really big. So I kept also like the power supply box. And inside of here is just where I keep all like the boxes. So like, you know, like I have like my processor box and stuff like that. I just keep all that stuff in case I have to warranty anything. So if you guys wanna see where I got any of these parts, uh, you guys can check the links in the description. I got some off of Amazon as well as some off of NCIX. NCIX allows you to price match. And here in Canada, here's a little trick. What you can do is you go to a website called either shopbot.ca or pricebat.ca and you look at that product, you put it in the uh, you know search description and it'll show you all the prices from all the different stores here like in Canada and NCIX will price match for the most part all those uh, products. But I'm also gonna do like a little write up on like my whole experience of building this computer. You guys can just check the link in the description, read the write up as well as see all like the products that I have purchased to put together this beast. Hopefully this video has helped you out. If you guys don't know me, I go by the artist name Gratuitous. Thanks for checking out the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.